But this is my furnace. Now when it first started, all of this was uh, just smooth and perfectly round and that's a two inch plinth in the bottom. All that slag is the refractory from the side where it's melted and puddled up down in the bottom. So I'm going to have to knock all that old refractory back out and redo it again. I'm going to put some vermiculite in the mix. This mix was two parts fire clay and one part Portland cement. And it just melts it. I mean it melts it and it drips off, drips down the sides and puddles up. And all that slag came out of the last the metal slag came out of the last pour I made. It doesn't even sit solid anymore because it's melted the it melted the plant part part way. top off of it. See if I got a light I'll fire this thing up. We'll hear it run for a second. Tell you what, let me get that crucible out. I've got to bake that before I heat it up because if you don't bake them before you heat them up, guess what happens? It blows the sides right out of the crucible. So you have to bake that crucible after it's been used every time. That's a costly mistake. Don't try this at home, kids.
<coughs> I have to turn the gas down as about as far as it go to uh, stop it from melting the refractory out of the sides. It gets really, really hot in there. But anyway, that's uh, that's my little furnace. I don't have really have anything melted that I can show, but I've been casting copper. That's what I've been. <coughs> I mean, you can see the little globs of copper that sticks, the slag that. Put my slag in here. There's a lot of slag in there. I clean this up before I before I use it. I usually <coughs> excuse me. I, I usually scratch that thing out. I got some some tools. I'll scrape all this stuff off and pitch it back in there and remelt it. All the little globs of metal. But uh, this is what I'm casting in its cast iron skillet <clears throat> and the inside is coated with uh, concrete or uh, 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 cement I use a little shaker bottle I put some put some holes in the top and put it in there and I I dose it up pretty good with some cement and shake it up and then dump it out and then I pour in it I'll put some on the sides every now and then but it really doesn't <clears throat> this this size crucible only makes a cake about a quarter inch thick so it fills it up to about a quarter inch deep it makes a nice little copper pancake <clears throat> I went to Harbor Freight and got these this is a some that's some uh, that's some man size channel locks right there, buddy. I use them to pick up my crucible with. I use these smaller ones for other things that has nothing to <coughs> do with that part of it. But this is the material of mine, and this stuff is copper. I've removed the steel magnetically, and each one of those little pads has got some silver. May even have a little bit of uh, palladium. Each one of them little silver-looking pads is, is a silver pad, actually. But I'm not going to try to refine this because I had it tested and it was. I took a sample and had it shot and it was less than one percent silver. So I'm even even at a hundred pounds of it. A hundred pounds would only come back one pound of silver, and it's just not enough for it. But I can get number one copper ingots if I melt it. Pour it up in little pancakes. So that's what I've been doing.